Um, uh, I actually, I got uh, a friend of mine got me his comic. Oh, you just take it in, huh? You know, keep saying, keep talking. It's a little light. Keep talking. It's a little light. <laughs> tell, tell him how buff I am. Uh, <laughs> Well, we go to the same gym, and dude, he's doing like 420 pound deadlifts. It's pretty weird. Four plates. 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 I've been doing comics since uh, since I was in elementary school, really. Uh, my comics and my drawings and my cartooning were kind of always the way I would relate to kids and stuff. You know, I didn't really have much to offer in terms of, you know, uh, sportsmanship or anything like that. But I could draw and I could write gang letters really well. So a lot of a lot of the friends I had uh, were friends that I I made based on their appreciation of the way I, I could draw. It was kind of just the only, always the way I would relate to people is through through my drawings. In what I've printed, my comics kind of cover a variety of, of things. Um, it's kind of a mix between the type of fiction I want to be telling and uh, true stories from my life. Uh, Autobio and sort of the, the true stories are kind of the easiest for me to approach because it's stuff that actually happened to me. Um, it's really easy for me to go back and just think of interesting stories of me growing up and relatable stories and that sort of thing. Um, but I have another book other than my childhood stories called The Plainest Plains, Plainest Pictorial Periodical. And that's kind of a collection of illustrations, autobio stuff. But it's also, it also contains some of the f ways I would want to approach fiction one day. Um, kind of mixing uh, comedy and heart and that sort of thing. and. Uh, and, and yeah, uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I ended that horribly, but go ahead. It's called my claim. Why does everybody got to be better than me? Uh, at the museum, we're going to be doing big mini. <laughs> at first, I thought it was like at first, I thought it was like a string attached to a hot dog. I, just, I don't understand it. When my books first came to me, I I had just boxes of books, and I realized that if I was gonna if I was if people were gonna read them, I was gonna have to put them in front of people. And I was going to have to go out and meet people and, and sell it to them, you know, like a car salesman or, a, or someone selling snake oil or something. I'd, ha I'd have to be that person. Um, so I started with First Friday, downtown Bakersfield. I brought out a six-foot table. I brought out some original artwork. Um, and, but most importantly is I had my comic. And um, I think that that caught people's attention a little bit. Slowly, you know, by the dozens, maybe, you know, per month. And, uh, but the fact that people had something they can grab and bring home and, and look at regularly really, I think, set myself apart from other people who were brilliant artists, who are wonderful artists. You know, if, if you're not giving something to people that they can hold on to, you know, they might forget about you. People have a short attention span. So right now we're, we're here at the Bakersfield Museum of Art early. Uh, way too early 
because uh, the local news station, ABC uh, 23 News, <coughs> asked if they could uh, shoot their morning show here at the uh, Bakersfield Mini Comic Con. The action's going to start in a few hours. So for now, I eat my sandwich. And right now we are going to bring over Erwin Ledford here, who is actually a local comic artist and uh, will be here today. Can you tell us what's going on? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the Bakersfield Museum of Art is uh, presenting art education to the community. And part of that is actually going to be uh, some classes we're going to be teaching here at uh, Bakersfield Mini Comic Con, including a self-publishing slash printing class that I will be teaching myself as a local self-published uh, comic artist. So I, I see you have this little... I'm consistently surprised at the level of support and interest I get from people in Bakersfield. Good job, guys. <laughs> and I, I learned that people in Bakersfield are, are, crave original artwork and crave uh, uh, art and culture and that sort of thing. Uh, there just maybe aren't enough people stepping up and actually doing it, putting their money where their mouth is and putting themselves out there in front of people. And uh, it's become sort of, uh, you know, one of my goals is to bring those brilliant artists out and to have them put something tangible out, continue growing this culture of, you know, do-it-yourself uh, kind of zines and art and comics and that sort of thing. <laughs> How's that? That's well, yeah. I uh, started drawing uh, yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> there's a, real, a lot of really good work. <laughs>